thinks Papa and I have a weird relationship. And I admit that it is peculiar, but it isn't necessarily weird, is it? I mean, I don't know the relationship between most people and their grandfather-in-law. I guess most people don't have much relationship with them, but I don't know. We just kind of work well together. We're good at keeping each other from getting stressed and having someone to hang out with. And both of us would be pretty lonely without the other one. So, I mean, I guess it's peculiar, but I don't think it's that weird. I mean, I really should get like friends or something because I don't really have any here in Reno. I only had a couple back in Indy and I just, I don't know, friends just, it, it sounds like a lot of work. I don't really want to. So probably just won't. Papa and I just went to breakfast in a strip mall, which I wasn't sure if it'd be any good, but it was actually pretty okay. Now we're at Petco getting some sort of food bowl thing so the Roomba doesn't move it around. I think it should work, probably. I'm sitting in traffic on I-80 in Reno, Nevada. Reno doesn't really have a whole lot of traffic because not a whole lot of people live here. But whenever they do have traffic, which isn't very often, it's always because there is a crash. And there is almost always a crash on I-80. And the thing is, is there's really not another way to get to through this city because the way the roads are built, there's a lot of one ways and the roads just end for no reason. The city doesn't make any sense. It was not built correctly. And it's just, look, the reason there's so many crashes is because for some gosh darn reason, no one learned how to drive in this state. I mean, it's literally some of the worst driving I've ever been in my entire life. It's worse than Denver, Colorado. It's worse than San Francisco. It's worse than Boston. I mean, I've literally driven in almost every state in the country. And here in Reno, they have the worst drivers. Very nice people, very kind people. It's a very nice place, but just the worst drivers. And it's just... I mean, this is why there's always traffic. This is why there's always crashes. I don't understand the logic of it. Just. I mean, if you just went like five miles per hour slower and didn't drive like a maniac, the amount of time you would save in the long run is so much more, but people rather risk their lives and get in serious car accidents than just chill out. People of Reno, drivers of Reno, please just chill.